What if I told you, you are the creator of your own essence? Would you believe me? Welcome to the world of existentialism, a philosophy that explores the nature of existence and its profound mysteries. At the forefront of this movement was Jean-Paul Sartre, a French philosopher who challenged us to question the very fabric of our being. One of Sartre's most famous quotes, existence precedes essence, serves as the bedrock of existentialist thought. It suggests that we, as individuals, exist first, and it's up to us to define our essence, our purpose, our why. We aren't born with a predetermined nature or purpose, contrary to what other philosophical doctrines might suggest. No, for Sartre and the existentialists, we are thrown into the world without a manual, and it's our responsibility to navigate this life and define our essence through our actions and choices. So, as Sartre suggested, you exist first, and then it's up to you to shape your essence, your purpose. Being free, a wonderful feeling, isn't it? But what if it comes with a price? Jean-Paul Sartre, a prominent figure in existentialist philosophy, puts forth a fascinating notion. Imagine that you're not just free to make choices, but you're condemned to this freedom. Sounds intense, right? He says, Man is condemned to be free because once thrown into the world, he is responsible for everything he does. This quote is a cornerstone of Sartre's philosophy, highlighting the inextricable link between freedom and responsibility. In a nutshell, Sartre is saying that our existence in this world comes with the gift, or curse, of freedom. This freedom, though, isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It pushes us into the driver's seat of our own lives. Every decision we make, every action we take, we're accountable for, we're responsible, whether we like it or not. In Sartre's view, our freedom is a double-edged sword, granting us power to act but also burdening us with the responsibility of our actions. Do you believe in destiny or do you believe in the power of choices? This is a question that Sartre, a renowned existentialist philosopher, pondered. He came to a profound realization which he articulated in these words, we are our choices. With this assertion, Sartre suggests that our choices, more than our circumstances, define who we are. Each decision we make, whether big or small, whether conscious or unconscious, shapes our identity, our character, and ultimately, our destiny. In another insightful remark, Sartre declared, freedom is what you do with what's been done to you. This suggests that even when we are thrown into challenging circumstances, it is our response, our choices, that truly matter. These ideas challenge us to take ownership of our lives, to recognize the power of personal choice, and to understand that we have the capacity to shape our own destiny. So, in the eyes of Sartre, you are not your circumstances, but the choices you make. Have you ever pondered about the meaning of life? It's a question that often leaves us feeling lost in the cosmos. But for Jean-Paul Sartre, the answer was a little closer to home. He famously stated, Life has no meaning a priori. It's up to you to give it a meaning. And value is nothing but the meaning that you choose. Sartre's existentialist philosophy places the responsibility of finding meaning squarely on our shoulders. He argues that life, in its raw form, is void of inherent meaning. It's a blank canvas, and we are the artists. The value of our existence isn't preordained. It's something we actively craft through our choices, actions, and interpretations. This notion might seem daunting. After all, it's much easier to follow a preset path than to carve out your own. But Sartre saw this as an empowering opportunity. By taking charge of our own existence, we become the authors of our own narrative, the architects of our own destiny. Now let's ponder on another of Sartre's profound observations. Man is not the sum of what he has already, but rather the sum of what he does not yet have, of what he could have. This brings us to the concept of potentiality. According to Sartre, our essence is not defined by our past or our present possessions. Instead, it's our unrealized potential, the possibilities that lie ahead that truly define us. This perspective encourages us to look beyond our current circumstances and limitations. It pushes us to dream, 
to strive and to constantly seek growth. It tells us that it's never too late to redefine ourselves, to learn, to evolve and to make a difference. In essence, Sato implores us to embrace our freedom, to take responsibility for our existence and to tirelessly seek out our own unique meaning and purpose. For Sartre, the meaning of life isn't out there to be found. It's within you to be created. What if everything you know, everything you are, is just a part of a grand paradox? This question is at the heart of Sartre's existentialism, a philosophy that encourages us to risk everything in order to truly understand our existence. In order to make myself recognized by the other, I must risk my own life, he once said, a bold statement that challenges us to step outside of our comfort zones and confront the unknown. To risk one's life in Sartre's philosophy is to liberate oneself from predetermined existence. It's a call to action, a call to authenticity. This brings us to another profound quote. Everything has been figured out except how to live. This is the paradox of existence, according to Sartre. We have made extraordinary advancements in every field imaginable, yet we still grapple with the fundamental question of how to live. In the grand scheme of things, Sartre reminds us that we still have a lot to learn about living. So, what does it mean to exist according to Sartre? Our journey through Sartre's profound quotes has led us to some interesting revelations. It's clear that existence for Sartre is not a passive state, but an active undertaking. He places immense emphasis on freedom and responsibility. It's an irrevocable part of our existence, a reality we are condemned to. He also underscores the importance of our choices as they define us. They are the brushstrokes on the canvas of our existence. Then comes the search for meaning, a quest that is as individual as we are. According to Sartre, it's up to us to give life a meaning, to assign it value. The paradox of existence, the dichotomy between being and thinking, adds another layer to his philosophy. Remember, according to Sartre, you are the creator of your own essence. So, go out there and create a meaningful existence. If you found this video enlightening, subscribe to our channel for more philosophical insights.